this video we will be reviewing the Creality S1 Pro 3D printer. This machine has been gaining popularity for its ability to create high quality prints at a competitive cost amongst other 3D printers on the market. Let's dive in and see if it's worth the investment. Creality some time ago came out with an improved and not that much more expensive version of DS1. The new printer is called the Creality Ender S1 Pro. So let's see how it will perform. Both of these models are based on Ender 3, which is one of the most popular affordable printers. What upgrades do you get for the extra money with the S1 Pro? We will find out thanks to kickbuying.com who sent us this printer for free so we could test it properly. The S1 Pro has the same print volume size as DS1, but is 2 cm taller than the original Ender 3, which can be useful for larger prints. When printing in low light conditions, the integrated light comes in handy. If you are printing a smaller object, unfortunately even with this light, and due to the size of the direct extruder, you can't see the first layers to print. You need to be careful not to lift the printer by the light as this will damage the light, which cannot handle the weight of the printer. Another difference is in the bed material itself. DS1 Pro has a bed made of PEI, a material with better properties compared to the polycarbonate on DS1 printer. Both beds are magnetic, so maintenance and possible replacement is not problematic. The S1 Pro has a maximum heat bed temperature of 110 degrees Celsius, which is 10 degrees more than the S1 model, due to the extra layer of insulations under the heat bed. The heat bed does come with a magnetic plate, but this plate is only one-sided and harder to align perfectly on the printer due to the lack of any guiding elements. The S1 Pro also achieves higher possible temperatures at the nozzle thanks to the improved Sprite Pro all-metal extruder with dual gear feeding system, which has up to 80 newtons of extrusion force. The nozzle reaches 40 degrees higher temperatures than DS1 model, up to 300 degrees Celsius. The extruder has two fans and an adjustable tangent spring. Access to the extruder is very good, so maintenance is not a problem. The higher temperature expands the possibilities for the officially specified printable materials to include nylon and wood filaments. The S1 Pro extruder also includes a CR touch auto bed leveling sensor with metal probe. Dual Z axis with synchronization belt is another advantage of this printer, which increases accuracy and printing performance. Another upgrade was the LCD display, which is full color and touchscreen. DS1 also had a full color display, but it was controlled only by the classic knob. The printer also supports 9 different languages, so you don't have to rely on English alone. In the box there are a couple of tools, metal scraper, nozzle cleaner, side cutters and also spare nozzle, SD card and Z limit switch. You can also test the printer right away thanks to a small sample of PLA. These tools can easily be hidden in the integrated drawer in the base of the printer for a cleaner workspace. The printer arrives 96% assembled, with only 6 simple steps and bed level setting left. Leveling is intuitive, the printer has both auto leveling and manual leveling using knobs. It is useful to combine these two options. The Z offset needs to be adjusted manually. The printer is capable of power loss recovery after a power failure. Sending print data itself is not quite ideal. The printer does not have Wi-Fi and therefore can only print using an SD card or USB-C. A Wi-Fi box can be purchased separately to control the printer over Wi-Fi using the Creality Cloudbox app. SD card is in normal size and it is not a micro SD card, which is useful when handling it. The filament holder is located on top of the printer frame along with the filament sensor. The filament holder has a bearing in it which makes the filament easier to rotate and therefore less demanding on the extruder. However, this feature also has negative aspects. For example, when the printer finishes printing and pulls the filament, the filament logically unwinds and has to be wound back. 
Other negative features of the printer include the printer software not being fully tuned. For example, the display does not show full names if they are more than 20 characters long and when printing from an SD card it's only possible to select from the last 20 models. Unfortunately, there is no Wi-Fi available in the printer right from the start, which is a pity nowadays. The printer is also relatively noisy due to the fans used. Otherwise, it has quiet drivers, so you hardly hear the axis shift. You can choose from a variety of slicers. Most of the common slicers already have pre-made profiles. The print quality is very good considering the price tag of the printer. If you have a Creality S1 at home and you don't need to print from the mentioned materials, this printer probably won't make as much sense for you. If you are thinking of upgrading from a lower-end printer, this printer might be a good fit. It has its negatives, but what you get for your money isn't bad at all. Thanks for watching this review of the 3D printer. For more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button.